In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a resume using Microsoft Word. I will be using Microsoft Word 2011, but the procedure is basically the same for whichever version you may be using. The first thing you'll need to do is verify that you have Microsoft Word installed on your computer. So if you're using a Windows machine, you'd have to go over to the Start menu, over to the bottom left side of the screen you click start and then you go to all programs and if you do have it installed you should see it somewhere over here it should said um, Microsoft Office or Microsoft Word you would click on it once you have that open then you should have something that looks like this okay so in order to start a resume you can either go up to the menu and click file and new from template or if you feel a shortcut like this one that says new from template you click that once you get the templates you can select one from the resume there's also online templates that you can select from but today I'm going to be using one that's already installed in the resume for this tutorial I will be using a simple resume which is one most people have so once you click that then you click choose okay so once you click resume then it pops up an example of a resume and basically all you have to do is fill in these spaces with your information so it, it's good if you have your information ready ahead of time or you could take the moment right now to write the information that that you need for example your name to change the name all you do is double click in this spot and you could change the name or anything that you want, you know. You change the name here, you fill in your address or whatever it is, um, your phone number, your email, and so forth. If you don't have an email, then you could watch my video on how to create a free email from gmail.com. You write in an objective here. Once you have this, you could close that. Here you fill in your objective. Your objective basically tells um, whoever is employing you what are your objectives, what are you looking for. So you can look at a couple examples that I've um, downloaded a few sample resumes online. And I'll show you how to do that in another video probably. Next you fill in the experience. This is how long you've worked at different places that you've worked. You can put the name of the place here, over here you put the date that you work there and then in these bullets here you can fill it in with whatever with whatever job you used to perform you know if you used to open up and close up shop or whatever you could fill in here with those things and uh, here's another space you put another company that you work for here and the dates that you work for them over here and then you you fill in what you did here in this section you can put in your education um, if you went to college or or high school or if you don't have any education at all you, if you don't want to put that you could always highlight that and you could delete it you know and put something else put your skills in you know you could put hobbies you know if you wanted to to, to put a hobby then you could do that as well and customize it once you have that all done then you come up to here to this to the save button once you hit the save button then you get this dialog this box that pops up all you do is you give it a name you type the name in here Joe's resume you give it a name and you pay attention to where it goes in this case it will be saved in documents in the documents folder it might be a good idea to save it to your desktop or something like that Whatever you do, make sure that you remember where you save it so that later on you can go there and reopen the file. Remember the name of the file. So you give it a name and then all you have to do is just click save and you're done. You've made your resume. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to send your email out online using your Gmail account. Next time.